When I walk into my space, my studio, it's a, almost a white box. And, and that is very good for my head. I love the color. And when I come in, I get to have this kind of tranquil space to create. I think the history is kind of written into the floor here. And on the walls, tables are laden with titles and things that I'm scrawling down as I work. Painting is probably one of the loudest voices I hear. The process of doing it, it's so reflective of where I am that sometimes that feels good and sometimes it doesn't feel good. So I think that in itself makes it very humbling. Even more humbling than the process is the fact that I am so aware that people choose my work to live with. And that in itself is an immediate bond for me as a painter. It's a motivator, it's an inspiration because when people choose your work, it's like, for me, it's like them saying, I see something in your work that connects with me. That said, when you come back to work at the studio, you feel the sense of responsibility to that. Can I give this the very, very most I have to this piece of work? If you ask me how to break down my work, um, I would tell you that it's sort of the two components. Both are very heavily laden with things, but one is art and heart. The art becomes about materials and finding ways to create a surface that's interesting and compelling. I use nails, I use hand stitching, I use metal, always on canvas. I want people to feel like they've had sort of a complete experience with the surfaces when they're looking at the work. The heart portion comes with an inner search that almost flushes out simultaneously with the, with the search for materials because you begin to think about where you are trying to reach to your own experience in a way that it will connect with someone else's experience. The work reflects back differently and it does speak back to you and I think I've learned that one of the greatest things I can do is listen to what the canvas gives me. Make an initial commitment to that canvas and then kind of follow what it says back. I am one of the blessed people in the world that gets to explore that every day. And I'm happy about that.